Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's good, my humps? It's your boy, Camel Hump, and today we are back with Clash of Clans. Just went ahead and built the boat here for the night village, for whatever that's called, and we are back to the main village here. As you can see, copious amounts of people joining the clan. It's unbelievable the support you guys have given me. So, so thankful. So, here we go. Um, first of all, let's, let's go over what's changed. The village clearly is different than... Uh, well, not the last episode, the last, last episode. So, as you can see, the new base layout. So, I went with a base like this, and I and I did this in the editor here. Um, so, as you can see, we can click the clan castle. And basically, the objective of this base is to be anti-three-star, right? So, the goal is to always have troops in the clan castle. And this sort of base kind of makes it really difficult to lure. Obviously, this side is quite flawed because they can just deploy right outside this barracks. And the clan castle will empty, but everywhere else is pretty, pretty good. I mean, they would have to destroy at least one building to uh, to actually break in. We don't have enough buildings to really spread this out. So we are giving away a lot of percentage in battles, but we're trying to protect the main loot, which is the storages. So protecting the clan castle troops is the best way to do that because they help so much on defense. So I'm just going to cancel this. Uh, so I went with this kind of base because I want my uh, important stuff to be in the middle. Clan castle, town hall is pretty important. Air defense is super important. Mortar, also important for ground attacks. So I was going to have a storage up here, and I did have it there for a while. I swapped it out for the builder hut and just put two on this side because it didn't really have enough walls. As you can see, we ran out of walls here and on this side here. So the spring traps and the bombs went there and everywhere else is sealed up nicely. So it's uh, not been working out. <laughs> it's not been working out because I haven't played in a while. So I've had a lot of loot attracting, you know, some heavier armies and some people to really dish out on them. I mean, something like this, we're never going to win. I mean, he lightning the air defense and then he went all in with his... 400 million balloons so the healer did nothing down here we don't even have a healer yet i keep bumping the mic sorry and we are going to collect this and we have a ton of stuff to get rid of including a gem box so quite appreciated there um also things that have changed we have almost everything upgraded all the what's left we have an elixir collector two gold storages apparently these gold storages were able to go up to level eight i just did the elixir collectors i had no clue that they went to eight i would have done that way before i'm oblivious or didn't catch it on camera or something so that is what's left and then the town hall the walls already done nothing else can be upgraded here so we are well on our way to town hall five and town hall five i think is when i'm gonna try to get some wars going and really start trying in war um, so that'll be exciting. Also, we're in Silver League 3. I'm not sure how. So, okay. So we definitely got in based on defense. As you can see, we won a, a few defenses here. You know, some people actually trying. And so we made it. I don't even know how far away I'm going. So we, we made it in. Yeah, that, this guy was at 934 trophies, 888. So we were definitely near the 800s. We crossed the gap and we fell back into bronze but it does not kick you out of the league you're in until you're 80 90 100 trophies away from the lowest there so we're not completely out yet if we win some today we might be able to gain our way back in and so we got the gems from all that i don't even not even looked at how many gems we got from destroying buildings or, i mean trees and obstacles but it's pretty cool so let's go ahead and jump into an attack here so the composition i'm using is a very common one for raiding so raiding with raiding your goal is to get loot not to win so you're okay with losing as long as you get a lot of the loot so that had some decent loot but okay so this is hmm <clears throat> i feel like we could take this out and we can steal all this loot from this dude so just gonna want to check for clan castle troops he does have wizards good thing i checked so i'm just gonna pull them to this side by anchoring an archer to this building, drawing them all the way across the map while she is not being attacked at all. So, and then we're just gonna surround the crap out of these wizards. But, gotta do it sparingly because they are 
uh, splash unit. So here we go. There we go. The archer should be able to clean them up as well as the barbarians. And we're going to go straight in for it on this side. So this is not the typical way you'd want to use barge. But we're just trying to get in to take out this air defense and maybe this archer tower. Completely swarming this one side. And there they go, starting to attack over the wall. And once they do, we will come in from this side to take out this archer tower. And it's distracted. And they're going for the mortar first. That is okay. Going to make their way over to that archer tower. We definitely got this one. Clean this up nicely. So, as I was saying, raiding is different than going for trophies and trying to trophy push. So with raiding, we're just looking at loot, and we're using a fairly cheap, uh, a very cheap, and a very quick army to train barbarians and archers. So we're using a pretty even split right now, and, and the goal is to just do what we did, just take out collectors, you know, aim for stuff that's easy to grab, get what we can, leave, and who cares about trophies, because they're dumb. Some people really do care about trophies, and there is a time and a place for all of that. Uh, we are not in the time nor the place to be pushing trophies, so... Just going to be building up the base by getting a ton of loot, and our gold is going to be full after this attack. I wish I had upgraded those storages sooner. Or done something with the gold before. That's okay, this is slowly wrapping up here. There we go. <sighs> so not bad, 50 of each, or 60 gold. Alright, so now we're full on that. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, let's do the elixir... You know what? We don't have much left. Oh, we have barracks. Shoot, I'll do that later after the video. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that. There we go. On our way to Town Hall 5. One day. Holy cow. So the armor, the, <laughs> the next army is ready. Just going to go ahead and load up the barracks with just barbs and archers. And I was just holding down barbarians and archers at the same time. Getting even split there. And we're almost back to 800 trophies. So now we don't have the balloons gonna be a little bit hard <laughs> it's gonna be a lot harder for us to win but like i said the the main purpose of this is to get loot <clears throat> so we could drop archers on this one elixir mine or one gold mine we could probably walk away with twenty thousand, maybe fifteen thousand, just gold <laughs> boys crack here we go that's no bueno not gonna be taking that all right, so this is exactly what we're looking for. So we are just going to strategically speckle in some barbs and archers onto these collectors here. They're chock full of resources. And hopefully we can walk away with a bootylicious amount. We're running out of troops. Save some for over here. And there we go, we got gold grab and elixir grab should be right after. So. For the time and elixir that went into this army, this is a super lucrative raid for us. Even though we're going to lose with only 26, 29%, stand corrected. That's okay, because look at that, 163,000 and 170,000, oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. And the barracks is the only thing left, which I will do. Uh, as soon as I'm done recording, or at the very end of this recording. So there we go, about seven minutes to train what's left of the army, and we can go ahead and request again, go ahead and subscribe, the quite, the quite, that little reminder there, I don't even know where I was going with quite, steal 100 gold, oh wow, we're actually pretty far away from the elixir one, and sweet victory, achieve 750 trophies in multiplayer, that happened on defense, and upgrade clan castle to level two, that was ages ago so thank you very much for my gems <laughs> so we're just sitting on a bunch of gold and elixir a ton of elixir actually it does not show by the bars up here but the number is quite evident also the uh the last event that went on i did get uh another daily dose off screen which was very nice very clutch got that right before the event ended and like filled the treasury here uh, i think the if we win another attack with one star i think we will completely fill the treasury which will be amazing to slingshot us into town hall five gonna hopefully get everything built quickly one timely offer there it is again what how's this a one one what 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 five thousand gems 
no storage limit. I don't understand. One time amazing gift. I clearly got this already. Okay. And there's a Town Hall 4 starter pack. I think I already went over that, though. And there we go. Just spam your eyes. And hopefully you don't have... Oh, uh, we can build something like this. So, I don't even think I've gone over decorations, really. They don't impact your base at all. They're kind of like this thing. They're just kind of in the way. And they're a cute little thing to personalize your base. Because all this grass is kind of ugly. So, we have... You know, torches, some flowers, a windmill. The statues are pretty cool. Um, especially these two, which we haven't even unlocked yet. Uh, it's just kind of like a status thing in your base. Like, back in the day, oh, and the pirate flag. When people bought that stuff, we were, like, screaming, Why would you waste your gems on it? But, I mean, there comes a point where, if you have all the builders, I mean, you can use gems to speed up your armies and speed up building production and meh, but... You get past that stuff and you just end up waiting, then there's really nothing else to spend it on. The uh, the Mighty Hero Statue and the Mighty Statue. And the uh, Pirate Flag, which the Pirate Flag's is nah. The statues are definitely pretty cool. I have them on my, my other base. So that's just a little recap of that. And we are just going to wait for this army to finish. And we're almost there, so it shouldn't take too long. I will pop back when they're done bit of my old ways there we're so close to level 25 we might as well just do an attack over here i the plan isn't to make separate videos for these villages i just completely forget that this one even exists um there's so much to do in the other one it's it's crazy to think about starting another one at town hall four um but that seems to be the case searching for opponents and here we go bagan oh he has an archer tower nice I think we can go in for it. We'll definitely get the Archer Tower. I'm not so sure about the cannon. And hopefully they will just... Okay. <laughs> Crap. Well, we'll get the Town Hall. Ooh, do we have enough? We have four on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got this. I don't know why I was worried. This Barbarian Head is so cool. Why can't that be on the Veather Village? Oh, man. When this... Oh, here's the Clock Tower. When, the, uh, when this village first dropped, I was pretty upset, <laughs> to say the least. This was the update to bring everybody back to Clash, to bring life back to this game. And here it is, another village, another story, another adventure. I really just wanted all the cool features on this to be over on Clash of Clans. Or, what am I talking about? I'm talking about like they're two different games, they're not. Um, I really wanted everything to just be over there on the main village wasn't the case but that's okay i'll soak in my sorrow over here and we have the builder so we will set him to something and i think the barracks would be cool get those archers only a minute the archers are really unique again at this level probably won't need them would have been nice for that cannon actually maybe we'll split two camps so i don't even know if i talked about this but the uh the camps here you can either have like four barbs or like four archers you don't even get to really choose you just get however much they hold. So it's unique, it's different, and it's a nice way to fill space because here we go with 68 of these dudes. And we can just pop back over here and wait 30 seconds to attack again. We have, I really wish we could get rid of some of this stuff, but that's okay. I think I will definitely put this double cannon in the walls. Let's move that mine out. Collect that. I don't know why I haven't collected that yet. And there we go double triple cannon here so that's going to be nice for our next attack and can we upgrade this we can Ooh. <laughs> dang we can actually do a lot at level two next what oh yeah unlock sneaky archers well i'll take that and there we go so i'll wait to incorporate them because we only have 15 seconds left for the barbs and we can set our builder to something else. I say the Archer Tower. More defense. Always wanted. Thank you very much. This doesn't have to be inside the base. But this definitely should be. Snag that. Bring that down. And then we'll put this over here. Over here. There we go. Okay, so that's full. Let's go ahead and attack. Yes, the Archer Tower is down, but that is okay. Ooh. 
He already has his build. <gasps> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even talk about this. So, <laughs> you can change your army on the fly. You can be like, what? I want archers. What? I want double archers. And there you go. So, I, I totally forgot that was even a feature. So, let's just go in on these two defenses here and scrape up as much as we can up top. That last cannon down there is just going to pick us away slowly. So, we can adapt our army to whatever base we're coming across. Oh, there's a spring trap. Spring trap. Spring trap? Push. I, don't, I can't remember what it's called. All right, we got two stars. I'm happy with that. 60%. He just got done as well. We probably beat him because we got two stars. Let's see. Yeah, he could not get it done. So, there's even more strategy to the, uh, to the attacks down here because you can... Let's go ahead and get this going because you can change on the fly like that makes it a little bit easier and I feel like a lot of draws occur but that's just me let's go ahead and do this last attack here hopefully get some loot and definitely aiming for that one star Ooh, he put his uh, storage on the outside not gonna take the bait though because we need to win and his base was nice her then ours what Ooh. No. <laughs> Did not look probable. Holy! Finally! Alright, after popping back to the village for some clan troops and spending about four or five minutes finding a base, I finally found one. Let's get it. So just going to go for those corner buildings first. Check for the clan troops. Didn't think there were any because his base is just sitting here gonna try to avoid the mortar also while sneaking in with the archers for that air defense once that's down really just the uh the archer towers there thanks to the clan aka myself donating some balloons balloons absolutely overpowered at this level and at most so here we go that's done and let's just go ahead and distract the archer towers up here as well. Balloons, three of them, going to be able to clean this up. Gold is already full, and we are going to get a healthy helping of elixir as well. The balloons, unfortunately, not going for that second air defense. Uh, archer tower? Not air defense. But they eventually do go for it and completely annihilate it. So there we go. Just clean up from here. That absolutely took forever to find this base. I was not expecting a four or five minute search time. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, hundo presente. 100,000 of each, plus the thing there. And that is going straight into the treasury. We can check that out. The elixir is full. The gold is almost as well. And that is going to do it. Actually, on that raid right there, we because of the balloon splash damage, took out the 100 walls in multiplayer. So we can claim that reward as well. And we are level 25, probably because of taking out the town hall gives you a little bit of XP here and there. So a reminder to subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns you want me to go over in this series, you can go ahead and do that. We're already back up to 2,400 gems. That's insane. And we are ready to go for another one. But we won't. We'll cut it here, and thank you guys so much for watching. God bless, and stay hydrated.